When we want to add items to the engineering report, we can press the insert button and then we get a list of available items. Under the special items, you can find uh, things that are very useful for the general layout of your report. For example, we can start with the format of the page. There we can set it as A4 with certain margins. And we can add a header and footer. By editing it, you can change the logo or change the information that you would like to uh, visualize. Then we can add a title maybe to our report with formatted text. We can edit the text and give it maybe the name of our project, for example. Let us hide the caption, put it in the center, and give it the font that we would like, a big title, in bold, and maybe underline it. Then we can add the table of contents. And now we can start filling the report with items from our projects. So we can start with creating some chapters. First of all, a chapter geometry. And you can see immediately that the table of contents will be updated. Then we can continue with some uh, libraries, for example, the materials, the cross sections, and in the group structure, we could add nodes, members, and so on, hinges, nodal supports, whatever you like. We could select all those items and indent them in the chapter geometry. So now you can also see clearly in the table of content that all of those items are now in a subchapter below the geometry chapter. I can create first a page break and then a new chapter. Let's call it loads. And now I would like to add the load cases. If you don't know where to find them, you can just start typing it, and then it will be filtered in the list of available items. You can indent the load cases, and I will create a list of my selection to not show them all. If there are a lot, maybe you only want to show a few of them like this. And now I want to visualize the loads, but instead of doing it with tables, I would like to do it with um, a picture. So first, let us activate the loads, maybe put off the rendering. And here in the process toolbar, I can send a live image to the report and automatic scale it and insert. So now, I have that image. I can set the title, title to figure, for example, and I indent it under the load cases. I can add as well a page break. So there's a new page after each picture. And when we regenerate the selected item, the load cases, we will now get a picture for each load case that I have asked for. So for my permanent loads, my variable loads, and so on. I can add combinations as well, classes, and so on. Let us go to a final chapter with some results. And here I would like you to show the result picture generator, which I will indent in that chapter. The generator needs a, a result table and a picture. So I can go to the results group, maybe add internal forces and indent it. And I can set already the type of load to the ULS combination. Then I can ask for a picture again in SIA, create a live image and insert it. and then indent it also below the picture generator. So now I have all the items that I need for the generator, and now I can define which pictures he needs to generate. So for example, the normal forces, shear forces, and moments. If we now 
we generate, we will have a picture for each result that we asked for. So we get the table with the results and then a picture for the normal forces, the shear forces and the moments. Maybe one last thing to end with. If we want to have a picture of the whole structure to show what kind of structure we have, we could do it as well in the perspective mode. I will send it to the report. And here you have as well an option to export it as 3D PDF. So when we will export the report to a PDF, then uh, when you open that PDF, that picture will be available to zoom in, to rotate, and so on. So in that way, somebody else can have a look in your model, in your uh, picture, without having the CIA model itself, only with your PDF. So we could add it in the report and maybe just add it at the beginning of our report.